Well, I'm here in Pasadena, California with my good buddy, Billy Mitchell. Yeah. My brother. <laughs> my brother. <laughs> <laughs> and we met about at least 10 years ago at the Sedona Jazz Festival in Sedona, Arizona. Mm -hmm. It's it just been fun hanging out with Billy. I come over to California to the L.A. area and we, we hang out and yeah. he's introduced me to some great musicians here in L.A., which has been, thank you very much, by the yeah, way. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> about 10 years ago? Yeah. That might have been a little longer than that. In 2002, I started the SAPA program. Right. And, and you were helping me with, do the pro promotional videos. Oh, yeah. yeah. With that. <laughs> so this might be a little bit more than 10 years. <laughs> okay, it could be. But I know that I saw, uh, I saw Billy playing at the Sedona Jazz Festival. Mm -hmm. And uh, mm -hmm. it, we, we had a little private party. And mm -hmm. here, here's uh, Billy playing with Earl Klug on guitar. Yeah, Earl Klug. And um, playing, yeah. some other uh, great, great musicians. Yeah, and, um, yeah. I said, yeah, I'd really like to get to know that guy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, that's right. And we've been friends ever since. We've been friends ever yeah. since. Yeah. Well, I'd just like to know more about I know you're from New York, but when when did you start learning, getting interested in music? And, uh, and, well, I grew up around music. My, my father was a minister, so I grew up in a church where there was a lot of music. And my mother uh, taught music a little bit. But I, I was never really interested in the discipline of music, you know, <laughs> lessons and all of that. I used to tinkle around, but when I went to college, um, they had a little band and they didn't have a piano player, and so the saxophone player heard me tinkling around in the music room, and he decided, he asked me if I would learn a couple of tunes to play at this little concert, and that was the beginning of my romance with music. And was that in New York? In no, that was in Atlanta. I went to I, oh, I went to college in Atlanta. Oh, yeah. Atlanta. Mor Morehouse College. Yeah. I see. Mm -hmm. But wh where do why do I have New York in my mind? Where do you? Well, I'm from uh, I'm from New York. So you're. I was born in here. Tarrytown, a little little town right outside of New York City. Okay. But I grew up in Buffalo. Buffalo. Now, we, don't we don't talk about that much. Upstate New York. We don't talk about that much. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're from Detroit, right? I'm from Chicago. Originally. Oh, from Chicago. That's spent, right. That's spent right. Time in Detroit. That's uh -huh. for sure. Yeah. That's right, Chicago. I know you've traveled around the world, and and what what is what are some of your highlights that you, well, that you like to remember you know I, I had I didn't have a traditional experience with uh, with music because I, I basically taught myself and I was active in the music scene for years before I started taking lessons so right in the middle of my career I had to stop and start learning how to play a little bit <laughs> correctly <laughs> and uh, that's gone on to, to, to the day. I, I still have to really focus on uh, doing things correctly. And, uh, you know, it suffers when you don't start out at an early age. When you try to learn these things uh, in the later years, it's, it's a little difficult. It's a little well, challenging. Well, he's being very humble. I, know. I, I hear it's this guy play, and uh, I, was, I, I really like to play the blues, and I know the history of the blues. And, and uh, I was playing a, a piece. And he, there was an extra piano sitting there, and Billy comes up behind me and plays this lick. I go, "Oh yeah, that's uh, the way it's supposed to be done." Yeah, well, you know, I, I just, I just love the blues, and, and I, I'm not talking about the blues per se. Right. But it's the the emotional content of the blues. It's the spirituality, yeah. the intention of that kind of music, and if you can put that flavor in everything that you do. I think it's a fun experience. I think music can be a fun experience. Less academic and more emotional. Yeah, I, I like that too. That, I, I did some academic, but you know, when it comes right down to it, you're trying to express something and communicate yeah, to some people. Yeah, yeah. You have to have all of it, really. Yeah. You have to have all of it. But some, some guys just don't have the blues. <laughs> so, well, uh, yeah. You're not one of them. Well, thank no, you. No, I've heard you play. I, I've heard you play. You play everything. You're a great player. I try to. I You're try a to. great player. So now, Billy, you were talking about SAPA, mm -hmm. and uh, I know you help kids who are in uh, schools where they don't have music programs. And, yeah, we have a lot of programs know. around, especially out in South Los Angeles. We've started a, um, a symphony 
a youth symphony. We started a youth symphony out there about seven years ago, seven, eight years ago. And it's really been going on. A lot of kids have gone through the program. Some have really stuck it out yeah. and uh, are, are now playing with symphonies and whatnot. So that's been a good experience. That's just an ongoing uh, thing that I'll do until I can't do it anymore. And otherwise, these kids, uh, it, it's really heartwarming because otherwise these kids wouldn't have a music program at all, probably. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I know he, Bill, he took me on a tour a few years ago, and we went down uh, to South Los Angeles, kind of some kind of rough neighborhoods. And um, oh, Watts, Watts, okay, Watts, there you yeah, go. yeah. And um, yeah, so it, it's it's it is really amazing, and you can see some more of his videos on. Is it Sapa? Sapa not, yes, S A P P A dot net. Sapa dot net. I'll leave a lot a, of information. I'll leave that. a link down below below the video. Beautiful. You can connect to it if you want to. Beautiful. Um, so, how does it look for the future? You're, you're, you're starting to play more gigs. I, I see. Well, I, the, the the future yeah. looks good. I mean, I, I'm not. Uh, my 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 life has been uh, really sparked up a little bit, um, and. Yeah, you know, I'm just taking some... a taking a new lease on it, you yeah. know, trying to do some more stuff. Yeah, I know you've yeah. been playing with Bobby Rodriguez, a well-known uh, jazz trumpet player, and uh, yeah. they, and you did that special concert with the the guitarist. Uh, oh, Kenny uh, Burrell. Kenny Burrell. Well, well I was I've been with guitarist. his I've been with his big band for about two years. Yeah, and I've yeah. heard some of those recordings. Now. I'll, try, I'll try to put a couple links down below to those. Yeah, too. that's been a great experience. Great experience. Well, thanks for having your house open to me. It's it's nice. We're at Billy's house right now. Yeah, <laughs> in Pasadena, it's, California. It's, it's always great to see you, man. Nice to come to the Los Angeles area, get a little taste of uh, the big city life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the traffic and the smog. <laughs> the in the smog. Yeah. And L.A. with the great musicians. I just watched yeah. these couple of videos and this, yeah. and I, this is it's the music city of the world. Yeah, Los yeah. Angeles, a lot California. Of music, a lot of music. Thanks, Billy. Thank you, and we'll be seeing you in Sedona. Fantastic. Oh, Look yeah. forward to it. Yeah, great. Okay.